Brad Nessler joined by the coach, Lee Corso, and the quarterback, Kirk Herbstreet. No complaints about the weather tonight as we see nothing but stars in this contest between the Washington Huskies and the Buffaloes of Colorado. Halfway through the season and the race in the Pac-10 is heating up. And here come the Buffaloes. The Buffaloes come out like they're just going to roll over this team. What do you think about that, Herbie? Colorado looks no further than this young man when asked why they play such great defense. His coverage ability allows his defense to take more gambles with blitzes, and I don't think it'll be any different in this one. You're absolutely right. Buffalo all the way. Well, Coach, we'll find out if you're right or not. Let's take it down to the field where today's captains are ready for the coin toss. They'll take over at the 27-yard line. Ace backfield. They'll run the option. Pitches back. They'll bring him down. What a play. Just a simple option play here. The quarterback gives it up, and they get good yardage. Great play. Boy, I tell you, this is impressive to see this offense. First and ten. Ball right around midfield. Washington goes with the ace set here. They'll throw on first down. Wants to throw outside. And it's the senior. To the 20. To the 10. Touchdown, Washington. The throw to the wide receiver goes for a touchdown. That kid looks like a natural receiver out there. Well, you could say he's from a good pedigree when it comes to football. I think his father's taught him very well. And he tacks on the extra point. And under three minutes to go in the first quarter. The score, Washington, seven, Colorado, nothing. Good job this time. They'll start this drive at the 20. The Buffs line up with five receivers. They'll throw on first down. He gets rid of it. Got it. At the 40. He's into the open field. To the 20, to the 10, touchdown, Colorado! What an athletic play by the lineup. This guy's the most athletic players I've seen all year. You realize in high school this guy was all state in football, basketball, and baseball. He's been making big plays his whole life. And he hits the PAT. And under three minutes to go in the first quarter. The score, Colorado, seven, Washington. The question is, can they do it again? Washington lines up in a shotgun set. Looks. He rolls out to the right. Wants to throw outside. Tackle. Way to look it in. I... Browning has four receivers lined up here. They go with a run. Browning with four wide receivers. He drops back. He's looking. Throws it to the outside. And that one's fallen incomplete. Looks to have been shaken up a bit on that play. At the 42. The Husky come out in the ace formation. He's got an opening. They'll bring him down. Look out, man. Kirk. It's a short. Ball right around midfield. Number nine lines up as a single back. Again, he'll get the call. Tackle. Not much for the runner as he gets back to the line of scrimmage. And the impact linebacker has turned it up enough. Brown gives it up the middle. And the short gain is enough for the first. Boy, I like that play call. Go ahead, get the first down. They come out with three wide receivers. Brown drops to throw. Looks. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. I don't think the quarterback ever saw him. That guy didn't even see him. He was in there before anybody could say, look out! And we're all tied up at the end of the first quarter. Line up. The Husky set up in the gun. Brown drops back. He's looking. Throws it out there. The senior makes the catch. And he gets the touchdown. 
And he makes his second visit to the end zone with that catch. Well, that was a great catch by the receiver. He ran a perfect route to get open for his second score of the game. And he tacks on the extra point. And here's the Pontiac drive summary. Defense lines up with eight men in the box. And he's going to come up with a sack. So the defensive end gets a big play there. This is exactly what you want to create when you send the extra man like they did here. That allowed the end to burst into the back. Third, Third down, 15. Ball, ball on their own 32. Colorado comes out in the shotgun. Back to pass. He steps up. And it's intercepted. That interception will be credited to the linebackers. Way to come down with that football. That was not an easy play to make. Well, that's just great hands for a linebacker. He looks pretty good out there catching the football. And they'll look to capitalize on the good field position here. They come out at a nickel. Browning will hand it off. Big opening! And down he goes. Picked up big yards there, and he's going to have a first down. Yeah, nice job there. This guy does a good job in reading his blocks and accelerating through the holes. Browning with three wide receivers. They'll run the option. And now he's got room to run. He laterals the ball, and he's taken down. The halfback option good for seven yards. Season with their red zone attempts. No, not at all. When they get inside the 20, they always seem to throw a pick, fumble the ball, or commit a penalty. Everything but put points up. Missed tackle. Touchdown, Washington. Nice job by the running back, getting in for the touchdown. And he hits the PAT. Just over five minutes now remaining in the second quarter. And the score, Washington 21, Colorado. I really don't remember, Scooter. You know better than that. <laughs> the defense lines up with six DBs. Throws. Complete on the run. At the 40, down the sideline, and they make the stop. That was a big-time play and a new set of downs. I think the defense might have been thinking run there, Coach. Well, I don't blame them. It's pretty common to see a run on first and second down, but this offense is keeping them guessing. Ball on the 22-yard line. The Buffs come out in the ace formation. They'll throw on first down. Throws down the middle. He has some room. Touchdown, Colorado! The quarterback picks things up a bit and found the big guy for the score. This kid has worked very, very hard at his receiving skills. And I've seen a lot of improvement in him. And he tacks on the extra point. Here's the drive summary brought to you by Pontiac. Washington comes out with two tight ends. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. And he's hit hard. And the halfback ripped off a nice gain there to get him the first. Hey, this kid's a good looking back. Let's see if they go to him again. Great speed to find his way to the quarterback. You know, if I were the coach, I'd find this kid up at defensive end many chances to do it again. And I think they have the wrong guy throwing the football. But I guess that's why he's not the real quarterback. Colorado comes out with five receivers. He drops back. Looks. Rolls right. Throws it to the outside. And he's brought down. And he just went over 100 yards this half with that last catch. This receiver's catching everything thrown his way. But a quarterback and receiver. So it's second and ten. This is the eighth play of this drive. The Buffs come out showing three wide. They go with a toss. And now he's going to throw it. Jones. Brings him down. Two for two on third downs on this drive, and they'll try to convert again here. Washington puts six DBs on the field to counter this five-receiver look. Looking. He's under pressure. 
And he's hit hard. Somebody came free there. Yeah, the linebacker shot through and nobody picked him up. He was all over him, Kirk. He wasn't letting the quarterback get anywhere. There's a flag down, and here's the call. That's more to my conduct. 15 So far this drive, the defense has been unable to stop them on third down. The Buffs line up with five receivers. Steps up in the pocket. Fires deep down the right side. It's deflected. He was facing a mad rush with... The Buffalo come out in a shotgun. They need this pass. Looks, throws it to the outside. The ball is tipped. They took a gamble, but they lost. Third and nine. Ball on the 36-yard line. Browning with three wide receivers. Three wide outs here. Drops back to pass. Looks over the middle. And it's going the other way. And now he's got room to run. The 10. Touchdown, Buffalo. And that was about the worst thing you could ask for. Oh, that hurts. The worst thing that can happen. And he hits the PAT. Less than a minute remains in the second quarter. And our score is Colorado 21, Washington 21. The Husky with four receivers. He's looking. He zips it out to the left. It falls incomplete. The blitz was very... Browning has four receivers lined up here. Looks. Fires across the middle with a stiff arm. There's a fumble. Number 25 recovers a loose ball. What happened there, coach? Let me tell you what. The wideout wasn't carrying the ball like he should. And the defender made a nice play to jar it loose. And we've got a tie ball game here, folks, and we pause for halftime. The defense will stack the line of scrimmage. Frazier on the run, tries to do play with a takedown. He got a really nice gain to those holes. Colorado goes with the ace set here. Throw short, and it's caught. About a five-yard pickup. Line up with six defensive backs. Drops back to pass, steps up, throws, and it's incomplete. The Huskies line up with three wide. Browning set to go to the air under heavy pressure. The quarterback had nowhere to go, and he's brought down for the sack. They've got to do a better job up front with their pass protection. If they don't start picking up everybody, then this quarterback's going to be pretty sore in the morning. That's for sure. They come out with a big set. He'll give it off here. And he's taken down. And 10. Ball on the 30-yard line. Colorado lines up in a double tight set. There's the play fake. Throws this one out to the left. Found his man. Now that was a good looking play. The quarterback put it where his receiver could get it. And now they have a first down. What I like is the faith that this quarterback has. Colorado hasn't been very successful this season with their red zone attempts. No, not at all. When they get inside the 20, they always seem to throw a pick, fumble the ball, or commit a penalty. Everything but put points up on So it's the big hoss on the score. I think the fullback deserves to get some of the spotlight. They're always out there working. And he tacks on the extra point. So with less than four minutes to go in the third quarter, the score is Colorado 28, Washington 21. 14 coming up here. Ball on the 49-yard line. Washington puts six DBs on the field to counter this five-receiver look. He drops back, steps up in the pocket, wants to throw outside. Got him on the run to the 20, 
to the 10. Touchdown, Colorado! And Coach, how about that touchdown? With that last touchdown throw, this quarterback now has managed to find the end zone three times today. Pretty decent number, if you ask me. And he hits the PAT. And now let's take a look at the drive summary. Brought to you by Cuddy, Ross, and Dotson. Back ready to return. Sends it sailing downfield. Dotson fields it in the end zone. The defense did a nice job. Of shot. Browning comes to the line with three wide. Browning drops back on first down. He's into the open field. And he's tackled. Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision making, but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of ten times. Looks. Short toss. And it's caught. Got some open field. The 50. At the 40. At the 30. To the 20. To the 10. Touchdown, Washington. You know, Coach, the one thing this quarterback does a nice job of is taking what the defense gives him. He's always looking for the open target. Yeah, and he's done that three times today. And he tacks on the extra point. This drive summary is brought to you by Pontiac. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. The Buffs line up with five receivers. He drops back. Short toss. He's got his receiver with nobody around him. On the 38-yard line. Six DBs in the lineup. There's a play fake. He's looking. Steps up. He's going left. He's knocked out of bounds. They'll bring in their dime package. Powell takes a handoff. Brought down. They get a yard on the play. Seventh play of this drive. The Bucs come out of the ace formation. Up the middle. And down he goes. Couple of yards. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. The Buffalo line up with three wide. Back to pass. With the throw. And it's incomplete. He overshot Woods. Lines up, hoping to extend the lead and make it a two-score game. The kick is up, and it's right down the middle. Here's the drive summary brought to you by Pontiac. Gonzalez is lined up to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. Dotson fields it in the end zone. Down the sideline. Touchdown, Washington. That was a big time return. Woo! Did you see some of the blocks on that play? This special team unit feels like it can score any time. Can you blame them? Nope. Not after that return for a touchdown. Cut. And he hits the PAT. Just a few seconds remaining now in the third quarter. And our score, Colorado 38, Washington 35. The Buffs go with the I formation. Cut on. Cut on. Cut on. Cut on. Play action. He unloads it. Complete. Tackle. They complete the play action pass for a pickup of three. A field goal is the difference as we head to the fourth quarter. Down and seven to go. Ball on the 23 yard line. The Buffalo have five receivers on this play. And he's tackled. So the quarterback keeper gets maybe a yard. Now it's third and six coming up. Ball on the 24 yard line. Colorado comes out with an eye formation. He drops back. He steps up, looking across the middle, and down he goes. First and ten, ball on the 36-yard line. Cut! Cut! 
Drops back to pass. He's going left. It's deflected. Almost intercepted. They line up in a double tight set. Drop down. The halfback picks up a yard. And this is the sixth play of the drive. Colorado comes out with three receivers bunch. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Throws it to the outside. Baker with a takedown. A little laundry on the field, and we'll find out whose it is. Holding on the offense. Tim He looked like he had a handful of jersey on that one. You know, you can get away with a little holding, but hey, you can't do that. So another third down upcoming for the offense. Colorado lines up in a shotgun set. He drops back. He tosses it short. And that one's fallen incomplete. He had it knocked loose before he could control it. Just a great play here by the defender to four. The Buffs line up the punt. Punts the ball away. Ross calls for the fair catch. Let's see if this Husky set up in the gun. Browning on first down. Aaron and out long. Caught. And he's all the way down to the eight-yard line. Wow. Nice catch. Way to look at it. Heck of a job by the wide receiver. These guys are moving the ball down the field. And we take a quick look at the stats from within the red zone, brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters the most. The Husky come out in a two tight end set. He'll get it again. Thompson brings him down. The running back gets ace backfield. Drops back to pass. Short toss. Incomplete. And that one will go down as an incompletion. Brown has four receivers lined up here. Back to pass. Looks. He'll dump this one off. And it's caught. They'll bring him down. Nice catch by the receiver. He's a great playmaker. If he hits this, we're all tied up. He gets it up, and it sails through the upright. This drive summary is brought to you by Pontiac. They come out with four linebackers. Setting up the play action. Throws to the middle. Got it. King with a takedown. A little laundry on the field, and we'll find out whose it is. Holding on the offense. Ball on the 23-yard line. Washington puts six DBs on the field to counter this five-receiver look. That lad, Colorado, goes with the ace set here. He's looking. Over the middle. Intercepted. The pressure definitely got to the quarterback there because that pass was not on target. Yo, were those guys coming after him or what? And he did the worst thing he could possibly do, throw it up for grabs. Yeah, the defense was just sitting on that. They were in zone coverage. As soon as they saw he was in trouble, they were all over the football. Excellent field position to start the drive. The Husky. Come out in the ace formation. And he, ball on the 41. Washington lines up with three receivers. Browning drops back. He's going right. Browning with four wide receivers. Back to pass. Looking. He fires left side. Got it. Tackle. And they convert the third down with a long pass play. You're right, Brad, and that was a long pass play. As a coach, you got to appreciate it when your players come out and perform like these kids are doing right now. And he wants to pitch it. Gets that one. And he's taken down. Hit hard, and they'll lose a yard there. They better block that linebacker. He is looking.
looking to make something happen. There's the kneel down by the quarterback. Colorado calls a timeout. Here we go. They'll try to make this a field goal game. It's up. And it's through the upright. And now we'll take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. Colorado lines up in a shotgun set. They'll throw on first down. Steps up. He lobs it right side. Complete. It's the freshman. Colorado takes it. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 19-yard line. Colorado in a five-wide set. He drops back. He steps up. Looks. Long ball right side. He has him on the fly. And now he uses a stiff arm. This one's in the books, folks. Coach, what's your final thought on the game? Well, this one had me on the edge of my seat all game long. Washington really got all they asked for and more in this contest. Great job by both teams. We look forward to calling more games of NCAA Football 2006. But until then, our final score in this one, Washington 41, Colorado 38. From all of us here at EA Sports, we hope to see you again soon. Goodbye, everybody.